Hello again, it's Jo here at Technology Triumphs and we're back again for another 5 Minute Facts. Today's 5 Minute Facts is all about your rights at work if you are under 18. So first of all, check the number of hours that you are going to be working per week. This typically should not exceed more than 40 hours per week, more than 8 hours per day. This 8 hours per day does not include any unpaid breaks. Break entitlement. Now, if you are working longer than a four and a half hour shift, then you are entitled to a 30 minute unpaid break. Days off. You should be having a period of 48 hours off of work in one go per week. Check what times of day you are going to be working. Normally you can't be asked to work outside of 10pm to 6pm unless you are on a nighttime based contract and these typically do not apply to those who are under 18 years old. You can be asked to work until 11 p.m. However, your next day at work should not start before 7 a.m. So just to clarify, if you are asked to work until 11 p.m. on Thursday night, you cannot start work before 7 a.m. on Friday morning. You should also have 12 hours off between each working day unless your working day is split into short periods of time. In the previous example we gave, we used if your work finishes at 11 p.m. on Thursday night, you cannot be expected to start your next shift until 7 a.m. on Friday morning. Now, obviously, this is less than 12 hours. However, you could not be expected to start your Friday shift at 7 a.m., and work through until Friday 4 p.m. If, however, your Friday shift finishes at 12 p.m., then this would be considered acceptable. Holidays and time off. You are entitled to the same amount of holiday and time off as any adult. This typically equates to four times your weekly contract. So for example, if you work two days per week, in a year, you would be entitled to eight days holiday per year. What work can you or can't you do? You should not be expected to complete any work for which you are not physically or mentally able to do. You should also not be completing any work that can pose a risk to your health, such as that which involves working in a freezer or working with vibrations or working with chemicals. If in any doubt, you can check this on the ACAS website. What is the ACAS website? Well, ACAS is quite simply a government funded body which is there to help resolve people with workplace disputes. If you have any queries or concerns, then you should contact them and speak to them directly. And that completes today's 5 Minute Facts. I hope you'll join me for the next one.